Hello, and welcome back to our YouTube series. I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. In today's video, we're delving into the dynamic world of maintenance planning. If you've ever wondered what a maintenance planner does, or perhaps you're considering hiring one for your organization, then this video is for you. We'll explore their key roles, traits, and the challenges they face within the manufacturing environment. So let's jump right in. Let's dive into the world of a maintenance planner. What do they do, you ask? Well, a maintenance planner is the backbone of any maintenance team, ensuring that technicians have all the tools and parts they need to complete their work orders. If there isn't a separate maintenance scheduler, these planners also juggle the task of scheduling maintenance in a way that minimizes equipment downtime and impact on production. These professionals primarily operate in manufacturing environments and form close relationships with everyone from machine operators creating work requests to production supervisors responsible for meeting quotas. It's a role that requires a perfect blend of technical and social skills. Technical skills help them estimate times to complete work orders, while social skills help them manage the needs of different people in different departments. They might find themselves in the middle of a debate between a production supervisor and maintenance manager about the criticality of work orders. But by communicating effectively with each colleague, the planner can determine the best way to prioritize tasks. A maintenance planner typically reports to a maintenance supervisor or manager, but they are also expected to help the organization achieve certain levels of production. This can put them in challenging situations at times, but a strong maintenance planner knows how to balance goals and expectations from various departments. So what are some of the key responsibilities of a maintenance planner? They plan and schedule corrective and preventive maintenance activities by task and priority level. They manage spare parts and ensure alignment between the maintenance department and the stock room. They manage work orders, documentation, and assets within the computerized maintenance management system or CMMS for short. They train employees on how to use the CMMS, and they coordinate plant-wide shutdowns. Now, what traits make a great maintenance planner? They have the ability to communicate effectively with all levels of the organization. They can work in a self-directed manner and provide direction to others. They can recognize opportunities for process improvements and assist with implementing them and they have strong computer skills and knowledge of various CMMS software. To gain a deeper understanding of the responsibilities and traits of maintenance planners, you can review job postings for maintenance planners on job search platforms like Indeed. So, who should hire a maintenance planner? Large manufacturing plants performing preventive maintenance should definitely consider hiring a maintenance planner. Without this role, preventive maintenance tasks are more prone to delay, leading to an increase in equipment failures and a backlog of repairs, otherwise known as deferred maintenance. For organizations already dealing with a full backlog, maintenance planners can be a lifesaver. They help prioritize work orders in that backlog based on maintenance costs, available resources, and asset criticality. This transition from a costly reactive maintenance environment to a proactive one can save an organization a lot of money in the long run. You might be wondering, does a maintenance planner also schedule work? The answer is, they can, but doing both well is nearly impossible in a large plant. If they spend most of their time scheduling, a lack of planning will leave maintenance technicians without the tools, parts, and information they need to complete work on time. On the other hand, if they spend most of their time planning, work order prioritization won't be optimized and estimated completion times won't be accurate. This could lead to low schedule compliance and extended downtime for critical assets. However, for smaller plants, it's feasible for the maintenance planner to also act as a maintenance scheduler. The key here is to set clear expectations up front. Instead of creating a job listing for maintenance planner, consider creating one for a maintenance planner and scheduler. This will help you attract the best talent. Thank you for watching this video. We've explored the role of a maintenance planner, their responsibilities, and the traits that make them successful. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For more details, visit our website at upkeep.com. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable resources for maintenance and reliability teams. Again, thank you for your time and remember to subscribe.